Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, Google is working on a Chrome refresh for 2023. So we will be getting more rounded corners and more material U changes coming to the stable version of Chrome progressively throughout the course of this year, 2023. And to some extent, um, some of these changes, um, visual changes, have started taking place uh, in the stable version of Chrome. Now, as mentioned previously and posted previously, if we head over to Chrome Canary, which is the first of the preview versions of Google Chrome, Google is mainly testing um, these changes in Chrome Canary, which is expected um, because um, a whole lot of different flags have been made available in Chrome Canary. And then as um, the testing progresses, progresses uh, these changes will then roll down to the dev, the beta, and then ultimately and most of these could possibly make their way to the stable version, bringing that Chrome refresh to the browser. Now, what I thought we could do today in this video, if you were interested, um, is because I have kind of posted here, there, and everywhere regarding some of these refresh changes for this year, is just to collate the main experimental flags needed to bring most of these changes to the browser, which Google is already working on in Chrome Canary. So um, just to go through four flags, which will... Um, obviously refresh the browser to the Chrome refresh for 2023. So to do this, we head up to the Omnibox as always. We enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, which takes us to the experimental flags page. Now, one or two of these flags I have already posted on and have already um, enabled. But the first one, obviously, would be the actual Chrome refresh flag itself. So for that, to bring up the flag, we just type in refresh. That's enough to bring up the relevant flag. Chrome Refresh 2023, Refresh of Chrome Desktop UI, that's user interface. Make sure that's changed from default to enabled. And then the next three flags, to bring up the next three flags, we just type in CR23. Now CR23 stands for Chrome Refresh 2023. And these are the three flags, Omnibox Expanded State Heart, Omnibox Expanded State Shape, Omnibox Steady State Icons. Make sure those are all changed from default to enabled. And then once you've enabled those four flags, um, the first one, the Chrome refresh flag, and then these next three flags, make sure you restart the browser, obviously, to apply those flags and those changes. And now just to go through a couple of the key changes that um, those flags will actually bring to Chrome Canary. Now, first of all, I don't know if you can notice, and I have actually posted on this, but the Omnibox, the address bar, is slightly wider or larger than it is in the stable version. So if I just head over to the stable version, you can see the Omnibox is slightly smaller than what it is now in Chrome Canary. Then some other changes are the toolbar buttons. Here we see the extensions button, and I have, have actually posted on these just a couple of days ago. The extensions button has received more material U changes. The beaker icon, the side panel, show side panel button has also um received a bit of update. Um, if we open up the side panel, other aspects like if we head to the menu dialogs there around the actual menu dialog, we can actually see an accent color. So those are just a couple of the refresh changes that have already started rolling out. If we head to the main menu, there are now icons next to those um, menu entries, which isn't available yet in the stable version. The um, share, share this page uh, button in the to the right hand side of the address bar has also received an upgrade and a material U uh, redesign. Um, the search Google, the little icon next to the left of that has also received a redesign. So you get the idea. There's a whole lot of different little um, user interface tweaks and adjustments that Google is making. And some of these have already, to some extent, started rolling out in minor aspects down to the stable version. And we can expect more of these to roll out to the stable version. Now, um, if we head back to the um, stable version of Chrome, um, the only flag currently that does bring some subtle changes to the stable version is the Chrome refresh flag. The other flags are not available. So if we head to our experimental flags page, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, Chrome refresh 2023 currently is the only flag um, if you want to try out the flag in the stable version that brings some subtle minor changes. So um, if we head to the uh, toolbar, you can see those toolbar icons are all haven't been changed yet. Um, there's no um, icons next to the main menu items and so on. But if we head to the site panel, if I click on that dialog, you can see there's a bit of the Chrome refresh that 
accent color around the menu dialog. So those are little changes um, you will start seeing by enabling the Chrome Refresh 2023 flag in the stable version. Because as mentioned, the other three flags, expanded state height, expanded state shape, and steady state icons are not available as yet in the stable version, but are available in Chrome Canary. So just wanted to update you and just collate those different flags on how to enable the new Chrome refresh for this year, 2023. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.